huo ukumbi unaitanishwa na wewe ni asante kwa sababu ya mzigo umeweka katika roho zetu kwa sababu ya hii huduma ya lancha asante sana kwa maana kila mmoja wetu utaendelea kutubariki na njia zako kwa kila mmoja wetu kwa sababu wewe unabariki na njia zako utabariki kila mmoja wetu kwa vile mungu wetu umeweka mzigo katika hii huduma ya lancha wa mungu wetu ni asante hata kwa neno lako ambalo mungu wetu litatukujia adhuri ya leo mungu wetu tunene kwa utukufu wako na maho maombi tukiamini ya kwamba umetusikia umetujibu kwa maana tumeomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwokozi wetu tuseme amen, amen. na tusangie Yesu amen thank you we can have our seats please let us appreciate our priest please let us appreciate our priest praise the lord asante sana kwa kila mmoja wenu wa kuhudhuria hii lancha wa yetu. Hii lancha wa ina tubariki, inatuinua, inatujenga, inatupeleka bali. Na ni asante kwa kila mmoja wenu kwa vile muombe jitokesha. Bwana asifiwe sana. Thank you neighbor and your neighbor neighbor your life will never be the same again. Mwambie I am here for a good time. Wiki ni wiki yetu na joro. Joro tutubiri ya leo, mimi nitasonga kesho na wiki inakuja pia wile nyingine tuna wageni kutoka M and Maravin watakuwa baraka kwetu kutoka Monday mpaka Friday na tutakuwa na wakati mzuri sana so we are just warming ourselves for a good time we are going to have in Jesus name can you please appreciate pastor Jerome to come and bring the word of God in Jesus name amen and for the viewers we will come you in our lunch hour from 1 all the way to 2 you are very much welcome enjoy enjoy join us and we continue Uh, hearing the word of God together in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you bishop. Let us appreciate our bishop. Hallelujah. It's another opportunity that God gave to us that we share the word of God. Thank you bishop for this opportunity. Thank you church for coming. It's time to enjoy the word of God. Amen. Amen. I want to speak about becoming a face of honor. Becoming a vessel of honor in the house of the lord our first reading come in the book of first second timothy 2 let's start from 20 but in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and silver but also wood and wood and earth some of honor some of dishonor if a man therefore prague himself from this he shall become a vessel of honor sanctified fit for the master's use and prepared for every good work hallelujah as you speak about the face of, of honor i want to tell you this afternoon that all of us we qualify to be used by god hallelujah uh, there, are, there are no kinds or there are no special people who god uses but the bible tells us uh, in a big house uh, that's the church a big house as i speak about the big, big house Uh, these are the members that were been called uh, to serve in one body the member that believe the word of god uh, these are the big house in the big house there are many vessels some of honor some of dishonor uh, some of gold some of, sil of silver but all these vessels belong to the master of the, the master of that house that means all of us we belong to one god All of us we belong to one father. Now, and now God wants to use everyone. God wants to use you and me. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us from where we have learned. Uh if let's speak about how to become a vessel of honor to be used by God. How can I become a vessel of honor to be used by God? A vessel of honor that God can use. One. You must be available and fit. God used the available the, the available people uh, in his, the, in the ministry. God used the available people to serve him. Hallelujah. Razima ujiamue, lazima ujitenge, 
that you are feel yourself to be used by God. Hallelujah. For example, hata kwetu nyumbani, ukienda nyumbani, the first that is clean ndio unaweza tumia kukunywa maji kwa haraka. Hallelujah. Even us in the house of God, most people who are available are the one that God uses. Amen. So, for you to be used by God, be available. Second point, be fit to be used by God. Amen. The Bible tells us if one remains uh, up, one cannot hire or get an inheritance if you don't grow. Hallelujah. Kama ushipo koma unaweza kosa urithi. Hallelujah. Nasi Mungu hutumia vyombo ambazo ni they are fit to be used. Those are the people who have already uh, have matured to be used by God. Hallelujah. So it's it's uh, it is it is a uh, is a good Christian virtue when we mature God uses us. Hallelujah. Sometimes we do complain. Bona mtu aliokoka juzi na Mungu ameanza kumtumia. Lakini Mungu anapomtazama anaona kana kwamba he is, he is fit to be used by him. Amen. So, be fit to be used by God. Point now, another point. You must be prepared for every good work. Amen. Be prepared for every good work. Be willing to serve God in season and out of season. When these are good, when these are not good. Hallelujah. And this one will help you that every time God can use you. God can use you. Hallelujah. Sometimes we give so much excuses. But these excuses are sometimes they are not good. Confano. Sometimes you don't even sometimes I was so busy sikuweza kukuja fellowship. The question is, kama ungekuwa mtu gadi ukose kukuja. How could be the picture? So, let's fail and be used by God. So, be willing be willing to serve God in season and out of season. Another point. You must plug yourself from the ungodly things. You must plug yourself from ungodly things. In the book of in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 3 from 15. But if I tarry wrong that that you may know how you ought to behave, to behave yourself in the house of God, which is the church, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and the ground of the truth. Hallelujah. Those are the scripture this afternoon. That even if God studies, even if your, your miracles have not yet come, hallelujah, we know how to, we are going to conduct ourselves in the house of God. In the house of God, it is the house of uh, it's the house of truth. It is the pillar of truth and the ground. Uh, the house of God, it is the pillar of truth. So, brethren, brethren, we must plug ourselves from every ungodliness to be used by God. Something else, you must separate yourself to be used by God. Amen. If you, comp if you continue compromising, if I continue compromising, not many people will be in abatafutiwa na ushuda wangu. Hallelujah. Sometimes, for you to be used by God, you set our, we set ourselves apart. There are, yes, some of these seems to be good, but not all these are good to us. We set our, ourselves apart to be used by God. Tumesikia kwamba, in a big house, there are many vessels. Some of honor, some of dishonor. If a vessel, that, is, that means there is a spirit of willingness. If a vessel make itself clean, it will be fit for master's use. That means all of us, we qualify to be used by God. But we limit ourselves because of the, sometimes the way we stay. Hallelujah. So, something else went to be used by God. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit. There are many examples in the Bible of people who are used by God. Example of Daniel. 
Daniel uh, was used by God. There are many people in the Bible who, who can learn that God used them. Even as today, God is want to use you and me. Hallelujah. Mungu ata kutumia wewe na mimi. Hallelujah. And that is Daniel 1 verse 8 and 18. Uh, something else that we can learn as we learn to be, become in vessels to be used by God. In the book of James, chapter 4, uh, James chapter 4, it can help us that we, that we must have the, the ability to deny ourselves from the pressures of this world. Hallelujah. We must have that ability to deny ourselves from the pressures of this world. In the book of James 4, verse, from verse 7, in the same way, free from the evil and the devil free away from you. Hallelujah. When we say, Kwamba, kuna baadhi ya mambo, there is a style that we can live. That, that style, kuna jinsi tuneza kaa, tuneza jinsi tuneza changanyika na mambo, tujikuti ya kana kwamba, even as it can be very hard to keep our testimonies. Amen. And remember, all of us, we qualify to be used by God. Something else. Uh, Second Timothy uh, 2, 15 says, Allow God to work your weaknesses. Allow God to work my weaknesses. And through prayers and Bible study, I'll be fit to be used by the master. Hallelujah. Allow God to use you. Allow God to work in your weaknesses. Uh, all, I and you, we have some weaknesses. Some of the weaknesses, neza kuwa na haraka, na kasirika kuharaka. Uneza kuwa, unakwasika kuharaka. But when we allow God, God will use us. Amen. All of us, no, there is no champion in Christianity. Amen. What? Lakini wale wakombele yetu, they are our spiritual fathers, they have worked with God for so long. And uh, they continue to, to, to encourage us that we can, all of us, we can make it. All of us, we can be used by God. May we desire that all of us to be used by God. Amen. It's not about how long you have been in Christianity, how long you got born again, but all of us, you can purpose, you can be willing, you can be available, you can be fit to be used by the master. Amen. Because today I have my father together with me. I'm not going to, con I'm not going to, to, to tell it all. My father will conclude for me. Amen. Let us appreciate our bishop Azika. Let us appreciate our bishop Anapokuja. Hallelujah. Amen. Kalibu sana bishop. Please, please appreciate uh, Pastor Joro. Come on. Come on. Let us appreciate Pastor Joro for that word. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Joro, for giving us that powerful word that all of us, we are like vessels to be used of God. Amen. And when you know that we are vessels to be used of God, then we are going to try to make sure that we are very much available to every meeting that we can continue growing and as we continue growing is when God is building us is when God is leading us is when God is helping us to know the area that we are a feed for the work of the ministry in Jesus name amen and may the Lord help you may the Lord help me that each of us will be fit for the wonderful work that God has given us in Jesus name amen and to a neighbor, and to a neighbor, neighbor, there is something that you can do in the work of the ministry. And that's why we are here, that we can be able to encourage one another, we can be able to build one another, we can be able to know for sure that all of us here, we are a fit for the work of the ministry. Hallelujah. So I would like to open, to open up our mouth and we pray to God that God will help us, that God touch me, help me, that in my church, wherever I go, even in lunch hour, I'll be fit for the ministry. I am a good vessel to be used of God. I am a wonderful vessel to be used of God in any area that I am fit for that. For example, this man is fit for 
king bring the keyboard. Amen. This man is uh, is, uh, is is fit for for the camera. You are fit for singing. We are all of us here with the wonderful and a different ministry to be fit for use in Jesus' name. Let us all stand and we pray to God that God you help us that we are going to be used of God. We are going to be worthy vessels of God. We are going to be available. We are going to do the work of the mystery that God has given us in the name of Jesus Christ. Just open up your mouth and just cry to the Lord and to the Lord thank you God for the word that I have received this afternoon that I need to be a worthy vessel to be used of God. I need to be available that for the work of the ministry. I need to continue to separate myself from anything that can hinder me not to be used by God. Help me, dear Lord, that to have a God. I am going to, to separate myself from anything that is ungodly that I can be able to be used of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, my God. You are a Jehovah God. You are a prayer for God. My decision of God to separate our silver from anything that is ungodly. That every father, we can be, we can be more the vessels to the use of your God in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for the mighty Savior and mighty Redeemer, oh God. You are helping us, oh God, to be feed for the work of the ministry that Jehovah God, we can be more the vessels to be used of you in our life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, mighty Savior and mighty Redeemer, oh God. Thank you for the big God. You are making us, oh God, more the vessels, oh God, that Heavenly Father, Lord, who can continue to be use of you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! We thank you, Lord. We bless you. We exalt you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let us take a, a moment, few seconds in the presence of God. And let us see how God has called us as vessels, vessels of honor, vessels that God wants to use. And you are one of them. I am one of them. And let us know the area where God has called us to serve. That all of us will be available to be used of God. You'll be fit to be used of God. And that's why we are here. That we can be taught, we can learn how we can separate ourselves from un un ungodly things. And we set ourselves apart. That we can be able to be used of our God. Precious and loving Father, we thank you for bring us in this wonderful place that heavenly father lord we can be taught your word that heavenly father lord we can separate our soul from ungodly things that god we can be worthy vessel to be used of your dear god thank you god for every brother
brother and every sister in this place, God, for them to be available for this last hour, oh God, that we can continue encouraging one another, we can continue building one another, we can continue adding value to one another. That Heavenly Father, each of us will be used of you, God. We bless you and we exalt you, God. As we go back to our offices, as we go back to our business, as we go back home, Lord, I pray that God continue to continue speaking to us, knowing that we are worthy vessels to be used of you, God. And this prayer, we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And for Jesus. And the viewers, I want to declare to you that you are worthy vessels if you separate yourself from an any ungodly thing that God can use you. If you are there and you are not saved and you are saying, Bishop Kanyaru, pray for me. I would like to give my life to Jesus. Say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I come to you. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. Lord, forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood this afternoon that I can be your child. Thank you. Lord, for serving me in Jesus' name. Look for a good church where you can be able to grow in your life in Jesus' name. I bless you. And to, the, and to us, I declare you are a blessing of the Lord. I declare you are lifted of the Lord. I declare all things are better with you in Jesus' name. I declare all your steps are ordered of the Lord. I declare that all your minds are going to be cast of the mind of Christ. I declare you are worthy vessels to be of God in Jesus' name. Big celebration for Jesus. And the grace and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.